Legendary crooner Tony Bennett spent his final days strolling in Central Park, sharing poetry with his family and sketching at his New York City home while bravely battling Alzheimer's. He passed away at the age of 96 on Friday, July 21st, 2023. The iconic musician had been dealing with Alzheimer's for several years, but he only shared his diagnosis with the world in 2021. The cause of his death isn't yet known. Originally hailing from New York City, Tony Bennett also adored San Francisco as we know from a song in particular and lived there for years, but inevitably he returned to the Big Apple. He lived for many years in Manhattan in a stunning home he shared with his third wife, Susan Crow. It's reported that Tony owned a luxurious condo in the northern part of Manhattan beside Central Park. And while he kept his property details quite private, it seems that he purchased the place back in 2005. Tony Bennett's accomplishments in the music industry are nothing short of legendary. He gained countless devoted fans over the course of his career, released many hit songs, and received 18 Grammy Awards. He was honored with a Recording Academy Lifetime Achievement Award in 2001, and he had his classic tune, I Left My Heart in San Francisco. Francisco, inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1994. He was a recipient of multiple Primetime Emmy Awards and a Kennedy Center honor, while his record sales, tours, and other ventures have also contributed to his long-standing success. Some of that hard-earned fortune, Tony invested into a truly impressive home. His condo, though its exact size isn't specified, features multiple bedrooms, bathrooms, a kitchen, office, entertainment rooms, and more. From the photos shared on his Instagram, it's clear that the the residence offers breathtaking views of Central Park's large trees and the New York City skyline. Born and raised in Astoria, Queens, he called New York home for the majority of his life. Living in close proximity to Central Park, Tony would find inspiration in nature and spend time painting scenes from the park, which he described as nourishing his creativity and serving as an antidote to city life. In recent weeks, Bennett was spotted being pushed in a wheelchair around Central Park, likely one of his last outings before his passing. According to records, Tony Bennett purchased a stunning unit at the luxurious Trump Park East building at 100 Central Park South back in 2005 for $1.9 million. While most details weren't shared and there weren't any listing photos to be found, it seems that this was the most recent Manhattan residence Tony had purchased. And based on his close location to Central Park, it definitely makes sense. We do know that the unit he bought was a beautiful one to two bedroom corner unit featuring sprawling windows and amazing views of the city. Prior to this, Tony was renting a place at Trump Park, which was next door. So he likely had time to decide whether or not to make this his permanent home. Prior to moving in, the apartment was gutted and fully renovated. According to the Trump Park East website, the luxury building also offered a whole host of amenities that Tony could enjoy, such as a door attendant, concierge, residence manager, its own maintenance team, and much more. More. Located in the heart of Manhattan, along the renowned Central Park South, which is a tree-lined street of only three upscale blocks, Trump Park East is one of the most sought-after areas in the world and is a 14-floor white glove condominium. Other than the direct access to Central Park, posh areas full of five-star restaurants, grand hotels, notable architecture, and other lavish locations like the Plaza Hotel. Tony was also known for his paintings, and living here gave him plenty of angles for his his celebrated Central Park landscapes. What's more, because his condo was on the top story, he could see the New York City skyline every night, and he loved to paint the scenery he could see right from his windows. In 2015, Tony shared that he loved painting Central Park, and he had sketched or painted over a hundred scenes of it at that time already. He said, I live in the city, but when I enter the park, I'm in the forest. Instead of buildings, you have nature here. There is nothing more powerful than that. Trump Park East was built in 1920, and converted to a luxury condominium in 1997, so it still maintained plenty of its historic charm. Residents here boasted high beam ceilings, wood-burning fireplaces, oversized windows, and herringbone wood floors. And we can see a lot of that classic warmth in Tony's home too. The building featured just two to five residences per floor, so living here granted a nice level of privacy, despite being in the heart of the city. On Instagram, Tony loves sharing glimpses inside his spacious residence, which features a number of 
separate bedrooms, bathrooms, a large kitchen, room for entertaining, an office, and much more. The living room of Tony's apartment is inviting with soft yellow walls, hardwood floors, and a bit of an Italy-inspired style. Much of the home appeared warmly decorated and also had plenty of plans to bring life into the space. We also can't forget about Tony's gorgeous grand piano he had in the middle of one of his living areas. A centerpiece which allowed the talented musician to play his tunes at home. And another room had a floor to ceiling mirror mounted on one wall. The kitchen that Tony and his wife shared boasted oak cabinets, stainless steel appliances, and plenty of counter space for meal prep. In fact, the singer had a love for cooking too. He and Susan made everything from pasta and meatballs to elaborate breakfast meals. Tony once wrote in an Instagram caption for a photo where homemade pasta was sitting on the table, my resolution for this year is everything in moderation, well except for pasta, especially when it's homemade. In fact, Tony loved posting pics and videos of his cooking while prepping breakfast, lunch and dinner with Susan, whom he married in 2007. Aside from his love of cooking, of course Tony's condo also reflected his love of art. The walls of his office were covered from floor to ceiling with artwork and picture frames and what appeared to be plenty of family photos as well. Bennett further had an easel set up with his painting supplies right next to a massive window which overlooked New York City and Central Park. So he had no lack of inspiration. In fact, this is where Tony could often be found, painting or sketching in front of the windows with the outside view as his muse. Tony reportedly spent his final days strolling in Central Park and still sketching at his New York City home before his passing at age 96. While the cause of his death hasn't been reported, he was battling Alzheimer's for a quite a few years, but only shared with the public in 2021. The singer started to exhibit symptoms of mental decline in 2018 and struggled with his memory, but it didn't stop him from one last collab with close friend Lady Gaga at their Radio City Music Hall gig and the release of a new album in September 2021. His wife Susan claimed that Tony didn't understand his Alzheimer's diagnosis because physically he felt great. She said, I would explain, but he wouldn't get it. He'd tell me, Susan, I feel fine. That's all he could process. Physically, he felt great, so nothing changed in his life. Anything that did change, he wasn't aware of. Bennett, who was father to four adult children, Danny, Day, Johanna, and Antonia, was cared for in his final months by his wife, Susan, who was 40 years younger than him and whose mother raised her as a dedicated fan of the singer. He spent his final days with his wife and family at his beloved Upper East Side home with his stunning views. Tony Bennett was born in Long Island City, Queens in 1926 and went on to enjoy a decades long career. During his lifetime, he released more than 70 albums and earned 18 Grammy Awards, all but two after he reached his 60s, and enjoyed the adoration of millions of fans across the world. He said in 2006, I enjoy entertaining the audience, making them forget their problems. I think people are touched if they hear something that's sincere and honest, and maybe has a little sense of humor. I just like to make people feel good when I perform. Well, it's clear that the legendary Tony Bennett will live on in his music and art, as well as in the hearts of many. For now though, that's gonna wrap up this special house tour. Thanks for watching, my name is Kara. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next. I'll see you